It's finally here! The one timber to rule them all! We've all been waiting for the UMX Timber X. <laughs> Check it out. It is awesome. When I knew this was coming, I got so excited and I'm so pumped for today. The best feature about all UMX planes. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. No building required. It is just ready to go. And as to be expected, it is exceptional quality. It is, <laughs> I don't know how UMX does it. You know, we see these big airplanes by E-Flight and other brands that have some nice attention to detail, but this little plane is gonna be so much fun to fly. I know that I'm gonna wear it out this summer. Today's video is gonna be a maiden flight, but we're gonna take a quick look at the airplane so you guys know what you're getting into. Check out those massive aileron control surfaces. These are set up with flaperons right out of the box. As soon as you bind it, no thinking required. Fairly large control surfaces on the back side of the plane. We should be able to knife edge and do some nice inverted flying. To those that are skilled enough, maybe even some rolling harriers. <laughs> not me, <laughs> at least not yet. <laughs> In here we have a brushless motor that's capable of running a 2S or 3S battery. There's a spider on your camera. And as you guys can see, there is a JST plug in here. At first, I just wonder why, why JST went at the new little IC2 plug. The IC2 plug is great, but then I'm reminded the brand new UMX Pits also flies on a JST plug. And I just so happen to have the exact same battery. The UMX Pits is recommended to fly on a 3S 300 milliamp uh, battery and that's what's recommended to fly on this. So that's great news. The Pitts flies on the same battery as the new Timber X. Guys, this will be linked in the description box below. Let's mate in this. Hey, look, there's a deer. Oh yeah, hey, little deer. I wonder how long he was there before. I <laughs> Checking out the video. He's a subscriber too. Safe is off. You ready? Yep. Let's go. Well, that was fast. Oh yeah, I knew, I knew this would be good. I knew it would be good. Wow. Oh yeah, look at that. Wow. <laughs> Try to stay on this side. Okay, maybe. okay. Look at this roll rate. Oh, that's nice. Oh, this is good. Everything we've wanted in a little stunt UMX plane. When you get that throttle up, it's very capable. Wow, oh, this is fun. Yeah, we're gonna have some fun with this, Abby. <laughs> wow, okay, what a maiden. What a maiden this is. Can you believe this? <laughs> oh, this is so cool. Oh my cool. gosh. I'm just kind of getting a feel for it to see if it has any type of flying tendencies, like, you know, tail heavy, nose heavy, anything like that. It needs any trim. It feels like we need a touch of trim, but I am just getting a feel for everything. I've never seen you fly inverted so quickly on a maiden flight. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Plus you did that roll back into inverted. That was pretty fancy. Thanks. I saw that. Thanks. Let's see if we can get it into a knife edge. I'm sure we can. It's just a little funky here. There we go. Uh, okay, we'll get it. We'll get it. That feels a little, it feels small, right? It doesn't feel like a big airplane, big airplane. You Big as in just like, you know, the giant 50% airplane I just flew. <laughs> no, I mean like, it, it actually, that knife edge felt just a little on the twitchy side in comparison to um, just our normal size, like E-Flight airplanes. So I gotta get used to that, but it really likes to fly upside down and it rolls so good. And then our climb rate's amazing on that 3S battery. See how it snaps. Nice little tumble snap, that was beautiful. Get it into a nice quick roll. So I have Expo set up on this. I put 10% Expo in. What? So, yeah, I'm just- I'm Nate and to, Expo? I'm starting to do all that, you know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a beautiful plane. It's flying great. Let's go in for a, oh. That, when I when I uh, go up for a roll, it, it kind of goes off center just a bit, which is making me feel like I need to trim up my aileron. I don't know, it does feel like there's just a touch of right. There is, there is, let's trim that up. Just a touch of right, and actually I think I got, there's some rudder cruising me around on that too. That's actually hands-free flight, so we gotta get some trim going on this little guy. That's better, that's a little better. So let's kick safe on just for the fun of it. There, safe is on. <laughs> that was easy. 
still got right rudder in there. I'm not sure. That's like the most trim I've ever had to do on a UMX plane. I am just putzing around with safe on. So if you guys are like a lot of people out there that just fly in safe, that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. This plane flies really good with safe on. If you just want to fly it around the field like a trainer, you love that yellow look to it and on the lights and the big wheels. You just are a collector of all the UMX planes, especially the timbers. Uh, you'll enjoy this thoroughly flying in safe. Here's full bank in safe. Won't let me go any farther than that. Here's full nose up. Which is crazy. <laughs> well, that's low throttle though. That's low throttle. Okay. okay. So if I, if I throttle up, we can climb quite a bit. Okay. So really, based on throttle, it's limiting me. So if I'm low throttle, it assumes I'm coming in for a landing, which is basically increasing expo a ton. So I don't um over go on the throws so here low throttle it's not letting me pitch that nose up much there you go there's full up almost a stall it's going to really help for landings so whoever programmed this did a really good job with safe that's nice so but honestly i i prefer safe off with this <laughs> we're just going to keep flying it around and have i think some you're fun. just like flying it upside down I do. whoa <laughs> whoa whoa just get, I was trying to get in some of these right hand <laughs> turns too, inverted. <laughs> it's nice guys, it's got enough throttle to punch out of just about anything. Now, what we all want to see a UMX Timber X do is a hover, right? Can it hover? Let's see. Can you hover is a really good question. You hit the ground. That, yeah. <laughs> no, can I hover? Probably not. Let's do it up here though, just to be on the safe side. There you go. And there you go, uh, hover, tumble, twirl, fall. <laughs> <laughs> so I can kind of hover some bigger planes. This one, I'm still getting a feel for. Maybe I need to push that battery back a little bit more to help it uh, be a little more on the tail heavy side, which sounds crazy, but a little UMX Timber X plane like this, you might want to get that tail down some depending on what maneuvers you want to do. Should be able to flat spin if I can do it. So you heard the timer. We're hitting five minutes. Let's see if we can get it into a flat spin. I'm really bad at it. There, I needed. Oh! Whoa! Whoa! Whoa. Oh, heart attack! Oh, that happened the last time I tried to flat spin on what? The Cirrus was that? Something, yeah. I ran out of room. <laughs> the ground is scary. <laughs> Okay, let's try that one more time, but maybe like with some more power. There, there we go. That's nice. Oh, oh, and then I <laughs> messed it up. <laughs> oh. You're going to get a really good flight time out of this. I didn't think you would go I past five minutes. Oh, don't, 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 don't fry your battery. Eye on things. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you put it at? I don't know. You don't know. Three volts, maybe. Nathan! <laughs> I'm just gonna keep This flying. is our only battery. I know, I need a couple more of these batteries. There's a nice clean loop. I just needed to get a feel for the plane. You really want to go into that with some power. I've been kind of flying this underpowered a lot because I'm doing a little bit more slow flying and like low flying. But let's give it a full throttle pass just so you guys can experience the speed of it. Should I do a full throttle pass inverted? I've never done that. I feel like I could probably handle that, right? <laughs> Full throttle. And we'll go out of it. Oh yeah, when Jeez. you fly with power, this is this really... Like this whole flight, I've almost not touched full throttle unless I was in panic. So let's go full throttle pass upright. And snap it. Nice little snap. Wow. Yeah. I'll have you at seven the minutes. Roll rate is great. Okay, we will land it here. Roll rates, oh my nice. Goodness. Yeah, this is a snappy, fun, very, very well-rounded airplane. I may have bent my, my uh, see one wheel looks a little crooked. When I hit the <laughs> ground, I'll take a closer look at that one. Comes in, but. Should just bend back. Oh, and then last, let's see how this affects, there's flaperons with no elevator mixed in. So I've got my flaperons on right now. So let's go for a nice slow, slow pass. Oh yeah, that's nice, Abby. So maybe this is how we can, it'll help us do um, this is really ideal for like a Harrier type of maneuver, if I could actually do it. There. Oh, and then I got the wrong, okay, so flaperons, the thing about them is you can put them on upside down too. Um, does that make sense? Like, mm -hmm. 
And so I threw that switch and it, whew, it freaked me out. So I got, I got safe on, which is great. You're at eight minutes now. Okay, but I really want to try this. <laughs> and you really want to kill the battery. Uh, I want to do flat bronze reverse. So I need to go inverted and kick them on upside down, which I've never done. Oh my gosh. On anything. And yeah, I've been taking it easy on the battery. There we go. Can I do it? I feel like yeah. it's going to land on my head. It could. There, they're on, but I don't know what I'm doing with that, so I turned them off. Let's bring it in for a nice smooth landing facing us. Hopefully my wheels are okay with that bounce off the asphalt. And um, here we go. Ah, uh, yeah, it's a little crooked because it, it gave. So I just need to bend that back. Yeah, I can tell. Oh yeah. There you go. That still taxis great. That, that tail wheel steers. That was a fun maiden flight. Yeah, get your left wheel. <laughs> <laughs> Good bending skills, Nate. That looks better. Yeah, thanks. That does look better. Just, um, <laughs> just. I would rather it bend like that and be a pliable metal than uh, something snap or break. So I'm fine with that. That's really the only thing that came from that. It still rolls really well. See that? Granted, you hit the ground. <laughs> yeah, I know. Like full throttle. I was trying not to focus on that. <laughs> we have lights. They do look great. It's a super bright day. I could make out a couple of them while flying, but we have the red light back here. Our nav lights look really good, but the lights that I could see well while flying were the white Ooh. lights on the end of the cowl. They look really good. This would be a fun plane to fly at night too. It's got just enough lights to get that done. There's light on the bottom too. Nice. Let's check the voltage. <laughs> well, my ESC status is showing 11.1 .1 volts total. The interesting thing about the UMX planes is it doesn't do the individual voltage, at least when I have it set up, it doesn't. Um, so, but that's okay. Our battery's fine. See, it still shows some juice on the pretty picture. <laughs> so I'm okay. Uh, I wanted to show you guys flap runs too. Some of you may not be familiar with what they are. And I'll check this out first and foremost. When safe is on, this is my limitation on my control surfaces. And it's really fun to focus on the ailerons. When I kick safe off, we gain a lot more control surface authority, a lot more movement. Now we could get even higher rates out of that if we wanted to, but I thought that roll rate was really good. Now when I'm talking about flap runs, this is what I'm talking about. And all this comes programmed on your radio the second you just bind it to this. I wish they could do that with all their planes. I don't know what the key difference is, but I think it's great that they do this. So check this out. Uh, focus on those ailerons again, and this is flap runs. Now we have flaps built into our aileron control surfaces but we still have the ability to move them now the interesting thing is we can kick these up and you don't get that on a lot of planes i think the point of that is when you're flying inverted now you have flaps and you can steer it around uh, and fly with flaps upside down so you can get some really cool inverted hairier kind of things going i'm just not that great of a pilot to show you guys so the nice thing about this plane and all UMX planes is that you take it out of the box, you plug the battery into the plane. Uh, before you do that, you put a new plane in your radio and you can fly this plane on the DX radios or whatever, I just chose my NX6. And you hold the bind button on whatever radio you're using. And as soon as it binds up, that's it. There's no programming, it just works. All the things like safe, Flapperons, all that stuff is what I just showed you. It's already programmed into the even radio. the expo, except the expo. That was my own personal choice, actually. It doesn't even recommend a certain amount of expo in the instruction booklet. As a matter of fact, I think I may have an instruction booklet from a really old UMX Timber airplane uh, because it mentions a 2S battery. It doesn't mention anything about like you know the good telemetry or or anything. So I believe the in instruction booklet that came with mine was outdated i believe we got an email about that <laughs> just you so go. you know <laughs> there you go. so i took the initiative to just throw a little expo in there and i thought you know what i never do that on these small planes let's see how it goes so i did 10 percent expo on ailerons elevator and five percent on rudder maybe needed more maybe didn't need any at all but um that was a fun flight i really enjoyed it and i'll probably tinker around with expo and other things and really fine tune this because it with the umx pits are two amazing airplanes that fly on the same super cheap, super awesome 3S battery. I highly recommend you get the exact right battery. We'll have it linked in the description box below. It's very high performance, obviously. We get like eight minute flights out of our pits 
an eight minute flights out of this on a 300 milliamp battery. That's nuts. So this will be linked down there, the battery, the radio that I'm flying on, but you can fly on a huge variety of radios and it'll just work right out of the box. What an awesome, awesome airplane and maiden. What an, uh, just a good airplane to pick up for the summer. And I know it's a scorcher. Abby, it's like 85 degrees and it's 9 a.m. I mean, it's gonna get hot today. And we're thinking about coming out recording something else. So we'll see how that goes. But for today, for this beautiful day, this opportunity to share this experience with you guys, I thank God just for the heart beating and getting to wake up and enjoy another day. Also a massive thanks to our Patreon supporters. I know I mentioned these links and those links are a great way to support our channel because if you plan on buying something, you might as well use our link if you like the content. It won't cost you a single extra penny, but we get a small kickback and it means a lot to us. But our Patreon supporters support us very directly. Uh, it's just an awesome way to say thank you for the content that we create, family-friendly content for almost a decade on YouTube and all social media platforms. And that's something we're very proud of. So, I just wanted to say thank you. You guys are awesome. We'll have another UMX plane, probably the Pits, because it just goes so perfectly with this plane. That video will be popping up right about now. Thanks for watching. We'll see you there. Bye!